So what about you is so recognizable? I mean, is it is it your face? Is it your hair? Is the hat? How are you recognizable? Even if I haven't seen you in a year, how can I recognize you? How do I know that it's coming from you? It is that time again. It is time to grab your legend pack, crank that speaker to 11. Welcome to legend. For those of you who have not yet met in person, my name is Amber Griffiths and I'm a brand strategist and a maker of legends, like for reals. And today I wanna to talk to you a little bit about how you are being recognized or if you are being recognized. I, uh, I had this experience this week and it has affected me so much that five days later, I'm still thinking about it and going through the motions of it, like just rehashing the whole situation in my mind. So a, I received a text, I think it was just like four days ago, five days ago, received a text from someone I didn't have in my contact list because it was just an unknown number. It seemed like I should recognize the number. It was from here in Utah. So I thought, surely <laughs> this is, I should know. And all it says is, hey, it was so, um, it's been a while. Do you, are you still in branding and can you help me out? I'm, I'm a stylist. Um, can you help, can you help me create a brand for hairstyling and makeup? And my first thought is, well, of course, I'd love to, like, absolutely. I could totally help with that. And then I thought, who is this? <laughs> who is this person on my phone? And I felt kind of bad. And so I immediately went through, I mean, I know at least a dozen stylists um, here in Utah. I know some of them out of Utah. Who, who could this possibly be? And then the next question was more personal. It was, by the way, I totally miss you. How are you and your spouse? And she used his name. And I thought, okay, well, well that, that takes out about four of the people because they don't know if, if I'm married or who I'm married to. That takes those guys out. It took five or six. And by this time, and I wrote back, of course I can help you, but this is where my specialty is. I can introduce you to somebody for the website. Like going through it as if it was this business conversation, knowing somehow that this was actually a little bit more personal, but feeling really silly about at some point going, who is this? <laughs> so I kept thinking, who do I know? And how am I? Okay, she knows about my sweetie. That's not these people. Okay, it's been a long time. So it's probably not these people. I saw them two weeks ago, like trying to narrow this down. And then comes the third text. And the text said, follow-up question da, 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 da. and I instantly knew who this person was instantly because I could hear her saying and I can see her hand going follow-up question da, 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 da. and I thought oh my goodness I know exactly who this is this is my sweet friend she's in New York now this is fabulous just to be sure I wrote back another kind of a generic message and came back with it had her name written all over it, like not actually, but I could hear her voice saying this text, saying this message to me and thinking, oh yeah, this is exactly, this is my dear friend, Kate, I love it. How many text messages would you have to send someone before they knew it was you? It's that simple. It happens in friendships and relationships. It happens, certainly happens in business. How easily are you to recognize if you don't have your name and your logo and your face mashed all over it. If I received something from you, a message, an email, if I received an invitation to an event, could I tell that it was you? And what kind of an expectation am I going to have? So it's not enough that, that for example, a woman reached out and I, I recognized her name mostly, but she sent a link, she said, this is, this is the event, I want you to come play at this event. And there's not enough about her on her website or on the event page for me to get a really clear idea of what to expect from attending this event. I don't know enough about her to know this is going to be informal, this is going to be casual, this is going to be super serious, this is going to be fun, this is gonna be educational, this is going to be motivational. There's not enough about her in her stuff for me to understand what to expect. How are you showing up? Are you showing up in a way that three sentences in, I can say, oh, it's her. I know exactly who sent me this message. I know exactly what's going on here. I can recognize you as you. Are your posts showing up so that even if it's been stripped from your feed, I can still tell it came from you. If somebody borrows a comment, can I say, oh, yeah, I've heard somebody else talk like that. I, I don't think that's yours. I think that's hers. Can I recognize the stuff that's coming out as stuff that came from you? 
that's the first step. It's actually one piece of the signature legend nine point test. If you remove your logo, your name and your face, can I tell it's coming from you? What kind of isms are in there? Is your persona showing up loud and clear so easily that I know it's you? The second piece though, is probably almost more important in what can I expect? Now, I this friend of mine, I've known her for decades. And so if I get to have a conversation with her, I know exactly how that's gonna go. Even though we haven't spoken in over a year, I know, I know there's gonna be laughter, I know there's gonna be snarky, I know it's gonna be way fun, and I know it's gonna be successful on the other end of it. She's an incredibly talented makeup artist and hairstylist, like huge Broadway, really, really good. So I know there's gonna be a level of professionalism that comes through even as we're laughing together. With this other woman with this event, it doesn't matter what I think of her. I have no idea if this, what this event's going to look like. Um, is it worth my time? Are my people going to be there? Like all of that stuff gets to come through. But because I don't know enough about her, even after reading all the stuff, I don't know enough about it. So if you send someone an email that invites them to an event, do they know just because it's from you can they is there an expectation of what it's going to be like do they have an expected experience in mind so much so that not only is it perfect for them and they're going to go register rsvp free event non -fit, free event whatever that is they know exactly what that experience is going to be like and they're excited about it they're going to go jump in not think about it for five days and hang out not push the button not put interested and then still not push the button but go jump in and grab it. Is the experience that you provide that clear, that consistent, that they know exactly what to expect, not only for themselves, but is it such a clear experience that they're going to jump in and share it with everyone they know as well, that they feel comfortable saying, come to this event with me. It's really awesome. It's going to be fabulous. I know this person who's throwing it. She's the host. This is what she does. This is how her events always go. When you send something out to somebody to invite them to a networking event, to say, hey, come be my guest. I know that you know I'm part of this networking group. You can come be a guest for two times, whatever. Everybody has that same story, right? Do you know enough about the person to say, well, if she's a part of it, I know these three things about that group. And then you can decide if you want to or not. How are you showing up? Is your persona so polished and so cranked to 11 that if you invite me to an event, I know at least three things I can expect from it because I know three things about you. There are two different pieces to that and they're a huge part of how you do business. Because if, if I come, if your clients come and say, and invest in this particular course, in this event, in this piece with you, if they know enough about you and if they have a valued fabulous experience then when you say oh by the way not only this but this they can go awesome yes me too i'm going to jump on that i'm not going to wait i'm going to invite everybody i know because i know exactly what to expect based on my experience here and then again and again and again if when you offer something you have people lining up to participate lining up to support lining up to share that's a really great sign that your persona is so polished and so cranked that people know how to expect, how to, what to expect from you. They know what to expect from the product, the service, the experience. If you are not having people line up for the next thing and the next thing and the next, if they're not sharing it willingly, if they're not jumping and saying, I know anything you put out is amazing. I cannot wait to share this with everybody I know. Count me in. That's a persona issue, my friend. That's not please don't waste time being concerned about, well, maybe it's pricing. Maybe my marketing wasn't effective. Um, maybe, maybe it's a bad date. Maybe I'm trying to do something in May when everybody else is doing something in May. And so nobody wants to come and do something in May. My first check for you would be to see what kind of experience you're creating for people, how consistent your persona is showing up so they know exactly what to expect and they can easily choose in. It's not, if you're not being remembered, if you're not being recognized, if you're not being sought after, it's your persona. And there's nothing wrong with it. It just needs to get louder with purpose. So I challenge you, look at the way you're being seen, the way you're being perceived. Make sure you're recognized because there's so much noise out there. 
I want to be able to see your legend flag flying high and proud from miles and miles away. If it's not that way, take a look at that. So until I get to see you in person and see your flag, rock on.